Okay, so where we last left off, we had created three MIDI tracks. We set the four MIDI channels in expand so we could play four different parts using one expand. Now we're going to record a very, very simple bass part just so you can get started recording MIDI. The first thing we want to do is go to the window and choose transport. Um, you'll notice here there's a keyboard shortcut, command one, command whatever three for the different windows, but it requires the number keypad. So if you're on a larger Mac or an iMac, on the far right side you've got a number keypad. I'm on this laptop, so normally on my big uh, computer that I work in, I would hit command one over on the keypad, but we don't have that here, so I'm actually having to go to the window. So we want to turn off wait for note because we used right here, we used wait for note. We're going to turn it off and we have dog who wants to come up here. Come on. Um, so now we're going to use my little bitty keyboard and I'm going to record uh, a bass part. I'm going to uh, just do something very simple. I, first of all, I have my MIDI track for bass in record. I have wait for note off. And I'm going to switch over to my, I'm going to, I can close this window because I've chosen my sounds. I don't really need to see it. If I need it back, all I have to do is go over here and click on expand to bring it back up. I'm going to close it to get it out of the way. I'm going to command equal to get back to the edit screen. And I'm going to take the base and you see how this cursor changes. You can make it larger. You can also go here and say, give me a large track or give me a small track. Um, we'll get to that later, so I'm just going to make it where I can see it. And I'm going to hit the return key to go back to the beginning. So, it, And I'm going to hit record, and I'm going to come in on the second bar. So the reason you don't want your song to start right at one is because when you're mixing, you need that breathing space. If there's a guitar, if there's a pickup note, if there's anything uh, before the song starts, you want to be able to capture that. So I, there's a way to renumber the bars, but I usually always either start my song at bar two or even sometimes bar three if I need a longer count off. So I'm going to hit the record. It's his command space bar. And I'm going to play this really simple quarter note bass part. Okay? I'm going to go C, G, E, D. And I'm going to intentionally make mistakes to show you how we can fix them, okay? So off we go, I'm gonna command space bar and we're gonna start recording. All right, so I have my part. The first thing I do, I don't really use clip mode very much. I go straight to the notes. And if I can't see it, you see you can scroll down right here, and there's my notes, and boy, they're really small. So I'm gonna take the selector tool up here, and I'm gonna highlight, and I'm gonna hit the command bracket and to, so I can zoom in, and I'm going to make this bigger so I can see it. I'm gonna move this transport window out of the thing, and you can see where I'm supposed to be paying, playing one note here, I, make, I made mistakes. So let's get rid of those notes first of all. You can see if I do my selector tool, first of all, I don't really wanna be in grid mode because I, I don't wanna be moving exactly to the beat because I didn't play right on the beat. We're gonna fix that too. So I'm gonna to go to slip mode and I can still see, oh, I would wipe out two notes. I only wanna wipe out one. So the, the uh, solution is you take this hand tool here and if you click on it, you see where you've got time, you want to go to object. So the MIDI note is an object and now your cursor is this little square and I can see that note. I want to get rid of it, highlight it. I'm going to draw a little box around it. I'm going to do the same thing here, get rid of that note. I'm going to do the same thing here and get rid of that note. Okay, so now I've got the parts. They're not exactly right, so let's make them right. We're going to take the selector tool and I'm going to highlight right to left and we're going to do what's called quantizing, which is moving it to the beat. And it is under the event, and it is under, is it time operations, tempo operations, where event operations. It's under event operations. I always use the keyboard shortcut, which is option zero. 
So if I do that, it's going to bring up this window and you're like, what the hell is this? First of all, we're playing quarter notes. So we don't need 16th notes. Let's tell it we want to fix it to quarter notes because I'm playing quarter notes. And I want, you can also say, you know, I don't want to make it perfect. If I hit apply right now, it's going to move it exactly right to the beat. And for techno and for some music, it's great to fix things exact, right exactly on the beat. But if you're a songwriter and you're played a bass part, but you just kind of want to straighten it up a little bit, you can say, you know what, let me click on strength and let me make it 80% perfect. All right, so boom, I hit apply, and now it's made it 80% perfect. And now we can play it back. Whoop. Genius. Um, so another note you should think about is you can bring up your transport window. If, if there's a part that's too hard, and if you're just doing MIDI, if you've already recorded audio, it's, it's not really that doable. It's doable, but it's a pain in the ass. When you're doing your MIDI parts, if you need to play something slower to play it better, you can change the tempo down to 80, and then re-record the part, and then put it back up to tempo. But again, if you have audio tracks, it's not really going to work correctly. Um, we can, that's an advanced thing, So, but that's just kind of a cheat. So there we go. Now we say, all right, I want to repeat this. Or in this case, maybe I just want it four times. And you'll notice here, I this first note did not highlight. I'm going to zoom in. You see, oh, but I'm not all the way there. And this is where I do want to be in grid mode because you'll notice here by these numbers up here, I'm not at even four bars, and it would take a heck of a lot of tweaking. I'm going to say, you know what, put me in grid mode. I'm going to click right here. I'm going to zoom out with the left bracket, so I can, and I'm going to hold the shift key and click at the end. So that keeps your beginning highlight and highlights it to the end. Let's do that again. I click at the beginning. I hold the shift key. If I don't hold the shift key, it doesn't highlight the whole thing. The shift key means Okay, this is my beginning of my highlight. I'm going to hold the shift key and click at the end. And now we've got an even four bars and all of these notes are selected. I'm going to zoom out a little bit with the command bracket and I'm going to say, I want it four times. So I need to duplicate it three times. We could also use repeat, but command D for duplicate. One, two, three. And now we've got this many bars of this part. So let's stop here. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to record a keyboard part. And we're going to have a little lesson in um, music theory, for those of you who don't know. It's, it's so easy. Uh, so let's, uh, let's move on and let's get going with the new pad part.